Hey guys, in this uh, fun tutorial, let's create a fun animation just simply using a box. So I'm going to click on the box and drag, holding down the shift key, drag it in the middle of my grid. If yours doesn't uh, do that, under create polygon, you can see my interactive creation is checked, so I have to manually drag my uh, box on. All right, so next I'm going to go to polycube and set my subdivisions to four. And I'm going to turn on my wireframe so I can see things just a little better. I also want to go down here and set this to 24. So now I have 24 keys. And let's create an animation where this box simply turns into a sphere. So I'm going to click, click on my box, go to deform, sculpt. And I'm going to, in my attribute editor, I'm going to change my drop off distance to 10. And I'm also going to right click and set a key on my maximum displacement, which is at 0.1 right now. I'm going to go all the way to 24. Drag this to a 10, right click and set a key. So now if I press play, I have this fun animation of a box turning into a sphere. And that's really cool. So maybe we can have a little more fun. We can come to frame six, for example, and let's bring it in, set a key, bring it out, set a key, and maybe just do it one more time. Just going to bring it in, set a key, and let's play and see what we got. So we got this kind of a cool pumping thing, and then the box turns into a sphere. So this is a fun, simple way to create an animation. If you want to change the timing of this and you want it to be maybe a little slower, we could, for example, do that by giving us more keyframes. Checking, clicking on our box, you could see that you can't see any keys set on our timeline. So what we need to go do is go here. All right, then click, click on uh, sculpt. Once you click on sculpt, you will see our keyframes down here in the bottom in red. So there they are one through 24. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click and drag. And you can see that I selected all of these keys. And now there's a little yellow arrow here on the right. I can just grab it and drag it all the way across to 100. Now, when I did that, I literally dragged it from 24 uh, keys to 100 keys. So now if I um, play my animation, you'll see that it's playing much slower. So that is how you can uh, control your speed. So I hope this uh, was useful and you uh, like this tutorial. And if you enjoy these mini uh, animation tutorials, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.